Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how the Elgato Stream Deck has helped my music studio. Here it is, and that's what it looks like as soon as you open the box. You've got the Stream Deck itself and the wires. Then you go inside it and pull the front part out, just like that. Feed the wire through the hole at the back, plug it in like that, and plug it back into its case. You need to download the app from the website. When you plug it in, it should look like that. I've added Switch Profile to the bottom, and I've made a new profile, as you can see here, which looks like that. So now on the Stream Deck, when I click that, it switches pages. I've now set it up, so when I click the YouTube icon, on there, it comes up with my YouTube channel. I have also made a garage band icon, when I click that it pops up on there. I'm going to repeat this process with any icons that I want on here. Also, I just realised I forgot to turn my lights on. Okay, so a little bit later, I just watched a film in the cinema. These are the keys that I have coded now. They are the YouTube icons, which opens my YouTube channel and my YouTube studio. My subscribe account my videos folder and my music folder then i have a one hour timer a brightness dimmer and a switch page button up here i have the garage band icon this switches to the garage band page and opens garage band for me here are my garage band icons i have got the forward and rewind button the play pause button the record button on my metronome then i've got my loop and my loop section buttons i've got my go back to the start button a save and a menu button and then the switch page button these work as you would expect click the record button click the play button and that pauses it then if I want the metronome off, I can go play, click the metronome button, and the metronome is now off. The forward and backward button are self-explanatory. Forward, backward. So we're here and we want to get to here. We go down here, click this one button, and we're back at the start. If I want to loop one section, I click my loop section button, and the yellow line say that section is being looped is on.